Hey guys, welcome back to another Dragonair Silent Gods video. Today it is the start of month two on season two on my server. So the Lunar Radiance event has just gone live. So what we're going to do today is just have a little look through the event and break down what we're going to do. I'm also going to pull my shards that I've got so far for the event. So as you can see here, the event is live. We can earn 90 of the resources from the Moonlight Dungeon events, which I'll talk about in a minute. 60 of them come from summoning shards and 90 of them come from the Continental Challenge. To be able to get the legendary hero Ardreth, you need to acquire 200 over the uh, month period. As well as that, you can also pick up a couple of Heliolite dice and some Starlight Stone dice, as well as some gold. Uh, if you are running low towards the end of the event, you can pick up some of the Halo shards from um, the premium currency, so that will have obviously cost you some money. But yeah, so if we just jump into the Moonlight Dungeon, this is the first event. These will be coming out every five days throughout the event. So today's one, or this week's one, is to do the Grave of Venom. So what you're going to want to be doing here is literally just farming Grave of Venom and picking yourself up 15 Lunar Halo Shards towards your Ardreth. So as for the rest of it, obviously it is a new week here, so sorry, I've got lots of uh, pop-ups to go through, uh, all of the weekly rewards. Yeah. So in terms of the actual summoning, if we look at the event that they've got live at the moment, so... The Heliolite Dark Bear summons here. On the side here, as you can see, five summons will get you 10 Lunar Halo, uh, Halo shards. 20 will get you another 10. 40 will get you 20. And then finally, 60 will get you another 20. So realistically, you don't need all of these 60 as long as you're competing well in the Continental Challenges, which we'll look at in a minute as well. Um, but you do want to make sure you've Got some shards saved up ready just in case you do need to give yourself that final push towards getting the fragments at the end so i've got 45 dice saved up so i am going to pull those straight away and uh yeah we'll see what i get uh the, the biggest thing i would like to get is either calf the burn hero or i would like to pick up a dupe to get the staff for my garius so let's have a look i don't expect to get much from 45 obviously i know i will get one legendary but uh it would be nice to pick up one of the things I would like, obviously, to take my account to the next level. And this one, just epic. There are a few epics I would like to get. I, I'm still missing Questa from the Necrosis element. I'm still missing uh, Shoutar, the um, Dauntless legendary. So there are a few things I could get along the way which would help my account going, for, uh, going forwards. So uh, yeah, we'll have to hope, hope I get something. I uh, say so Alvis is actually new for me and I was looking for an enabler for Rally because my Rally options are very limited. So that is an upgrade for me and he probably will go straight into my um, Continental Bosses team. Right, 30 left. That. Another Varesh, that's two in the last few dice. 25 more, let's see. Nothing on this one again, unfortunately, no legendaries. Epic-wise, who have we got this time? Uh, a Girthin. So Girthin is a really good replacement uh, replacement for Beldel, the um, Ice Blast legendary. Uh, obviously, I do have Beldel, so I don't actually need Girthin myself at the moment. Rares, we'll skip through that one. We don't want to see that. So 15 more dice. It's not going very well, I'm afraid. So we've got a legendary in this one. Let's see who are we going to get. Two epics as well. Joyce. So Joyce is new for me. Oh, Acilia. Okay, so this is a new legendary for me. Acilia is really good. And um, so it's a very good tank slash healer for the Radiance element. Um, yeah, that's an interesting one. I'm definitely going to use a Cilia and another Yola as well. Right, we've got 10 dice left. Let's see if I can get something. Nothing in this one. Oh, epic. Yep. Shook. Okay, and the last five dice is going to be... No legendaries, I'm afraid. So the only legendary I picked up this time around is a Cilia. Uh, obviously, I will be pulling some more dice towards the end of the event, another Eola. Um, but this is just what I had saved up, ready to kind of get a start on the event. So, 
There we go. So as you can see, I've got 40 out of 200 for the Lunar Halo shards already. And uh, some other resources. Like, like I said, I will be trying to go for this 60 at the end just to get that extra 20. Just to top up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not too worried about that right now. So in terms of the Continental bosses, if we have a little look at the map, you'll be able to see these bosses here with 6 days and 14 hours on them each. So each of these, uh, there's six bosses on the map, each of them will take additional damage from a specific element. So for example, Alton will take 100% damage from cold. So you're going to be wanting to build cold damage teams for this and vice versa for all of the others. So the Necrosis boss will take fire damage. Um, if we have a look here at the top. So the poison boss will take lightning damage increased. And there's three on this side as well. So we've got the fire damage will take, uh, the fire boss will take extra radiant damage. The lightning boss will take extra necrosis damage. And finally, the cold boss will take extra poison damage. So the way this works is on the first week, you can challenge three of these bosses. If we jump over to have a look at one, actually. Uh, let's fast travel to here. Go over to him. Right, so on the first week, as you can see here, you've got three out of three times. So each week you challenge a different amount of these bosses. So the first week will be three bosses, the second week four bosses, the third week will be five bosses, and then the final week of this event will be six bosses. So gradually over the course of this month you're going to be wanting to build at least a new team each week to push your um, new teams, well your, your continental bosses, up to obviously hopefully be able to get the 22 million, but at the same time there are leaderboards that you're going to want to place on. The placements for these will also give you a good chunk of lunar, uh, lunar Halo Shards and a really nice amount of uh, Echo, Eclipsidra and Affinity Solvent as well to take your bonuses up to the next level. So this will be a weekly reward, these. So yeah, just make sure throughout the month you're keeping an eye out for content creators as we'll all be posting videos of this we're using to help you guys to take your bosses up to the next level and get yourself more rewards. And at the end of the get end of the day, hopefully get yourself Ardreth, the legendary hero, who is incredibly strong by the looks of it. So yeah, that is all for this video today, guys. I did just want to do a quick video, uh, obviously pull my dice to see what I get, but also talk through the event that we've got at the moment. The other thing that's worth noting is today does mark the start of the increase in legendary drop rates. So all of the dungeons now will be providing a lot more legendary and crafting materials so it now does become incredibly efficient to be farming dungeons which is good because the um moonlight dungeon events will be going along so you'll be kind of forced into dungeons anyway but you'll be getting a lot more back than you were previously from doing dungeons so best of luck to everybody farming gear and best of luck throughout the entire of the uh the lunar halo events see you in the next video